Suppose you're looking up maps.google.com using DNS. A root name server will tell you to ask the .com name servers. A .com name server will tell you to ask the name servers of google.com. And a google.com name server knows the IP address you're looking for. But here's the thing. When a name server refers you to a different one, it does so with an NS record. But that record doesn't contain the server's IP address. Let's take a closer look at one a root server sent us when we asked it about maps.google.com. Sure, we now know that a.gtldservers.net is a name server for the .com zone, but, um, how do we even reach it if we don't have its IP address? We could do a DNS lookup for a.gtldservers.net, but if we ask the root name servers, they will point us towards the .NET name servers, which unhelpfully are also located within gtldservers.net. We have a chicken and egg problem on our hands here, and glue records can get us out of this stalemate. DNS messages are allowed to include additional information at the end that wasn't explicitly requested. The root name server can use that section to include extra A records and AAAA records for the name servers it previously mentioned. These are, you guessed it, glue records. In one DNS message, the root name server can tell us that a.gtldservers.net can help you find things in the .com zone and that this name server is located at this IPv4 address as well as this IPv6 address. We figure out where to reach the .com name server. So now we can ask the server where maps.google.com is. It'll tell us to send any questions about google.com to ns1.google.com. Once again, this is the same chicken and egg problem. The glue records have us covered. The .com name server can include an additional A record in the response, telling us the IP address of ns1.google.com. Careful though, Glue records aren't always a good idea. Say you have a website called example.com, and instead of running your own name server, you use an existing DNS service. If you ask your registrar to push a glue record for that name server's IP address, you'll have to update your DNS every time that name server's IP address changes. This may cause unnecessary downtime for your website and email services. Since the name server is hosted on someone else's domain, a glue record isn't necessary, so just the NS records will do. As a general rule of thumb, you only need to add glue records to your domain if your name servers are hosted within your domain. When they're not, just keep it simple. This was my last video for 2021. Thanks for sticking with me this year. Enjoy your holidays and have a happy healthy new year.